The last stage in our whole ledger and debit and credit process is something called a trial balance. So what is that? Well, let's look at our accounting process. We know that stage one, transactions happen every day and there's source documents for those. Stage two is those transactions need to be recorded in the accounting system. And that's what we've been learning in this chapter. That particular place where these will be recorded is in something called the general ledger, which is just a series of ledger accounts uh, or these T accounts. Stage three, we'll make some reports, income statement, cash flow statement, balance sheet, and then stage four, we'll have to analyze those and make decisions. So let's look at this one. How would we make income statements, cash flow statements, and balance sheets? Well, we looked at um, in a previous video, we have to be able to balance a ledger to know it's sort of balance at the end of the period. But there's kind of a step in between. We want to make sure these ledger accounts are correct before we even make the report. So, so whilst we're still at stage two, before we get to this third stage and make the reports, we just want to make sure all the ledgers are correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of add in a little step here. Okay, um, whoops, sorry. We're going to call it stage 2A. It's not really a separate stage. We're just going to say, all right, I've recorded all the transactions for the month. And then what I'm going to do is something called a trial balance. It's a list of all the accounts in the general ledger and their balances. It is used to determine if the total debits equal the total credits. Now, if I get that right, I can then go to stage three and make these reports. What does it look like? So every single item in the firm's records will have a ledger. So we'll have a ledger for all the assets, all the liabilities, all the owner's equities and negative owner's equities, all the revenues and all the expenses. And together, that's called the general ledger. So we've learned that before. What I'm going to do now is try and prove, let, let's say these are all the debit balances. So we've got the assets and expenses will have debits uh, and the negative owners equity, but we'll also have a bunch of ledgers with credits. So in this case, we've got some revenues and some liabilities and some owners equity. I guess I want to make sure that everything adds up, all my debits equal all my credits. So how can I do that? I can do a trial balance. So what I do is I write trial balance as at the end of the month, which in this case is January. And write the name of each account and then whether it's got a debit balance or a credit balance. So in this case, this is what I finished up with from that previous example. I had all these here. I had the following accounts. So assets, accounts receivable, they have debit balances. So do expenses, but liabilities have credit balances. So do owner's equity. And if I go through and add that up and title them all up, both sides come to $500,000. So that means all my debits have equaled all my credits. And seemingly, I've got everything balanced correctly. Now, if you're sort of a bit advanced in accounting and going, well, hang on, why are you doing a balance for revenues and expenses because they're closed? You're just way ahead of where we are. That's like chapter 10, uh, something like that. So just for now, we're going to say, yeah, that there are balances for revenues and expenses. So why are we doing this? Well, we're doing this to make sure the general ledger of the business is accurate, complete, and free of errors. So we have to relate that to some theory. We would say that relates to qualitative characteristic number two, faithful representation, because it says everything you report must represent real world economic events um, that it claims to represent. In other words, the information must be complete, free from error, and neutral. And so that's one of the reasons we do a trial balance is we can make sure that things are faithfully represented. However, what we need to learn in the next video is that a trial balance can actually balance. So the debits can equal the credits and there still can be errors in it. So we'll look at that in the next video. But for the most part, if your trial balance is your debits equal your credits, you've pretty much got most things right, if not everything. But there could be some errors. So we'll look at that in the next video.